Fly bait fishing for whatever bites. We have shiners, live worms, and big bluegill. We're starting off with the shiners. Oh, I can see the bass eating. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That was crazy. Then we're moving to the live worms. And I got her. There he is. The bluegill we catch on the worms are gonna be our big bait. And once we started using the bluegill as bait, the palm monsters wouldn't stop biting. Ooh, he just got hammered. He just got hammered. Big, oh my gosh, it's a monster. I got him, monster, monster. Saturday and Sunday, March 23rd through the 24th, I'm having a fan meetup at the Bassmaster Classic in the Cox Business Convention Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Make sure you come out and say hey. I will be at the mock booth next to the Strike King and Lose booth from 12 to 3 p.m. on Saturday and from 11 to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Please come out and say what's up. It's gonna be an awesome time. Now let's hop back into this video. We're live bait fishing for whatever bites today. I am so pumped to have another live bait video for y'all. We're gonna be starting with shiners, then we're gonna be moving on to live worms to catch some even bigger live bait, and then using the bigger live bait to catch some of these pond monsters. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. I got the boy Adam with me today. What's going on? He says I'm the live bait king, so we're gonna see if that actually happens today. You got the live bait master, son. I told him, I said, you coming in town, we definitely doing a live bait yeah. banger. And then we got Tara with us today. What's going on, girl? What's going on? I'm ready to outfish these boys today, as I always do. That's what you always do? We'll every time, every time. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. So we went by this shop that had a lot of live bait. We picked up a lot of supplies. I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything and we're gonna get the fishing guys. I'm just pumped about it. I think it's, we're gonna experience some magical stuff today. So stay tuned and let's hop into it. So we went by the store and our first bait today is shiners. The last couple times I've gone to this store, they didn't have any shiners and uh, they were locked and loaded today. You can get one of them, Tara. That is some bass candy right there. So that's what we're gonna be starting off with. And I, as we progress through the day, we're gonna be getting some even bigger live bait and catching some monsters. We got a bunch of different fishing setups down here. We got a crush, we got a mock jacked, and then we got a kicking their bass TV X lose combo. If you guys wanna check the kicking their bass combos out, It'll be available on my website, kickingtheirbass.com. Adam's gonna go ahead and uh, rig up him a special rig, and then me and Tara are gonna rig up as well. And we're gonna hook the shiners up and see what we can catch. All right, it's time for us to get rigged up. I'm gonna be rigging something pretty basic. We're gonna have just a tiny little circle hook, and uh, we're just gonna have the drop shot, and I'm pretty much just gonna nose hook these shiners. Adam's gonna go a different route, which I'll have him explain that to y'all. And then Tara's, I'm probably gonna rig up a drop shot as well. And uh, we're gonna get after it. I think these fish are gonna be eating today. It's an overcast day. It actually feels really nice outside. The last couple of days we've had nasty weather. So I'm just glad to be out here on a beautiful day. All right guys, so we have our little circle hook. Then we have a drop shot weight. So all I'm gonna do is tie this onto my leader line here. It's 12 pound fluorocarbon. And this pond actually has a lot of grass in it. So I'm gonna have a, not a super large drop shot to where I have like a foot and a half long weight line but i still want it to where this minnow is going to sit right above the grass we're going to take our tag in and go back through the eye of the hook what this is going to do is make sure that this hook is sitting upright which is very important especially when you're throwing a drop shot because all you're doing is really lifting up you're not having to hook set these fish with any power so all you want is that hook to be facing up just like that so i'm going to actually cut off some of this tag in. We're gonna have about 12 inches of weight line here. And that's gonna allow us to hover this minnow right above that grass. All right, well that's the rig we got. Just a little drop shot, about a foot of line from the hook to the weight. Now it's time to get our minnow. All right guys, I'm gonna be rocking the mock crush combo today. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm actually gonna be using a bobber. They are going to be fishing with the drop shots a little bit deeper but I'm gonna be targeting some of these shallow fish that should be on this grass edge. Let's get our little bobber on here. There we go. And then I've just got a drop shot hook on here. It's a little bit of a bigger drop shot hook because I'm gonna take my minner, hook him through the back, throw him out there. Hopefully get us a big old bass. Let's go. All right, time to grab a minner. Come here, boy. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. 
I don't even know if I've ever fished with a shiner like this before. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> slippery boy. He's a little slippery boy. I'm more of a bluegill guy. That's what I always do at my house. But this shiner looks super juicy. I'm gonna give him a little cast out there. Let him move around a little bit. Check our drag. Pretty good. And now we wait. All right, boys, we just threw our minner out. I'm excited because, you know, Adam's throwing the whole bobber rig. I got the old drop shot rig. I'm just throwing a couple different rigs to see what happens. So this pond, we got a little drop off here. We got a flat and then all of a sudden it drops into a little hole. So all we're doing is fishing the edge of this drop off and there should be some fish loaded in the bottom of this thing. But we're gonna spend a little bit of time here shiner fishing, seeing whatever we can catch. And then after this, we're gonna move on to the big boy stuff. And my shiner is actually gone. That's good that we got two dozen. I might go with one a little bigger here. Oh yeah, that's a nice big boy. Just simple nose hook, just like that. Nothing too crazy. He is freaking out. That is an active one. That's the type of shiner we want. I'm actually gonna walk over here slightly on this point and throw in this little ditch. There's a fish right here in front of us. There's actually a lot of smaller like bait fish up here on the bank. Oh, I felt a bite. Ah, oh, something ticked at it. Oh, is he on there? He is. He's on there. He's on there. He's on there. Ah, what do we got? What you got, girl? Make sure you keep your pressure. There you go. You got a little bass. Dang, that's a nice one. Is nice, but you know what? I felt him bite it, and I, I waited a while. Let him tick at it a couple times. Yeah. Heck yeah. You got him right in the corner of the mouth. That's the first fish today. Just a little bass. And uh, hopefully that's the smallest one today. There you go. Good job. Beautiful. Heck yeah. Let's get us another good one, boys. Right there. That's a nice one. These things are active. It's not too hot today. It's about 60, 65 degrees. You know, if it was in the heat of the summer, these things would be dying off so quick. But we also have a little bubbler in there, a little oxygenator. We're gonna walk to this point again. I don't know if I had a bite and just wasn't paying attention or if he somehow squidabbled his way out. Since we don't have a bobber on these, it's important to keep your line pretty tight so you can feel when they hit it. Oh, I have something pulling at it. There we go, right there. I'm just gonna reel into it. Woo! Got, got number two. There we go. Oh, oh, I can see the bass eat him. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I saw him, I saw him come up and eat it. Wow, he is not big, but that was such a cool bite. <laughs> that was awesome. He got him a full shiner right there. There we go, first one for me today. That fish has been caught a couple times before. You can see that little hole in the side of his mouth. But hey, beautiful first fish. There we go. There you we go. <laughs> More aggressive than I thought. Give him a little toss past the grass. All right, that fish should not come off. It should. Right there. Oh, I got hammered. There we go. There we go. Right in front of that pipe. There's my first live bait fish. Oh man. Oh, he spit out my shiner. Pretty little bass, man. Come here, buddy. Oh, that guy is fat. He just wanted him a little snack. There we go, not a big one, but that is a beautiful fish to start off with. Thank you for biting, buddy. You got a little fat belly on you. Right in front of that pipe. Heck yeah, guys, we're on board. Here we go, we load it back up. We going back to the corner. Going back to the little grass edge by the pipe. See if we can get hit again. These fish are smoking it, guys. It's just, we haven't got any size yet. And the big thing today is to try to catch the biggest fish possible. But later on in the video, here in a little bit when we're done fishing with these minnows, we're gonna go and catch some big live bait and target some monsters. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be crazy. I got one. I got another fish, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah. So I'm really just keeping the line slack and slightly popping it at the top. 
And that's when they seem to hit it. Like let it sit for a minute, pop in it. This is so fun. I love this. I love live fish. All right, thank you, my man. Oh. My biggest thing right now is just keeping these minnows or keeping these shiners from getting up in the grass. That's like the biggest thing. Oh, there he is. Yes. I just felt him pick that thing up. He is fighting good too. Oh my gosh. Just felt him thump that thing one hard time. Pretty bass, not a big one. What a pretty one. Oh my goodness. Oh guys, I barely missed that fish's eye. I would have felt bad. But beautiful fish right there. That is my second one on the shiner. Get you back in the water, buddy. There she goes. Heck yeah. That was a lot of fun. We caught a ton of fish on the shiners, but it is time to go catch some even bigger live bait and go after the monsters that we're looking for today. All right, boys and girls, we just made it out to the next spot and it is time for us to catch our big live bait. So we went by the store and we grabbed some more supplies. We actually got some night crawlers and we got a bunch of different hooks and bobbers. And that is our plan in this pond is to catch as many bluegill or any bait that we can use for some of these big fish. And then after that, we're going to hit some big fish locations in hopes that we can catch some of these pond monsters. So this is the beautiful pond that we came out to. And there is a lot of fish in here. We shouldn't have an issue at all with catching some of these bluegill. So we also got this little cooler right here that we can put some of the bluegill in. We've got a bubbler here on the outside so we can get some water in there. And then we also got all the supplies. I'll have A-Dub kind of go through some of this. All right, so we've got some little weights, got some little hooks, and then we have our fresh old worms right here let's see if we can dick a couple of these bad boys out got some good looking red wigglers and that's going to catch some bait so we've got our cooler right here that we are going to put our bluegill in we haven't caught anything yet but when we do catch something which is going to happen we need some water so let's fill this thing up nice uh pee water let's go look at that big old juicy boy right there oh he's squirming too got the old wiggler and we're gonna make the first cast boom perfect spot money all right so we got split shots we got some smaller size eight pan fish hooks and got us a little bobber so first things first we're gonna grab one of these hooks tie her up by the way if you guys were wondering we use these for pan fishing it's got a longer shank on it so you can actually get that out of uh the bluegill's mouth sometimes when they get that thing in there it's hard to get that hook out of their mouth oh i got him yes Dude, perfect bait size. Dude, that's money size. Oh, it's perfect. Look at the little bluegill, dude. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's there. Oh, Woo. All right, let's turn on the bubbler. Fish in the bucket. Two fish in the bucket. They're fishing over there. I'm actually going to walk a little bit down this bank. This corner over here has always been really good. So bringing it back to the basics boys and he already got it oh my gosh that feels like a good one dude that feels like a good one i don't know it's either a bass or a big bluegill oh it's a big bluegill oh my gosh he might be a little too big <laughs> but look at that puppy look at this one dude what we'll do guys we're actually going to put this one back if we want some bigger bluegill we can catch him at the other pond Got him right in the top of his mouth. Oh my gosh. And he got to keep the worm. Well, there we go. That's my first bluegill. And that is a toad, guys. That is a massive one. We'll get some more this big at the other pond. We're going to let this guy go in here. Thank you, buddy. Wow. What a giant. We're going to go back in this corner. That boy hit it right away, too. I really did think I had a had a decent little bass or a big bluegill. I think it was fighting. There she goes. She's running. And I got her. <laughs> Dude, this might be another big one. I might need to go fish by them. Oh my gosh, just another giant bluegill. Holy cow. These things are just so pretty. We're still gonna put him back. The bigger ones we'll catch out of this swamp pond. I can't wait to show you guys this place. Got some really nice fish. It's fun catching those, but we need some a little smaller than that. 
Have you got any bites out? Yeah, I mean, I haven't tried it much. Yes. Oh, yeah. dude, that one's oh, really that's perfect. Nice that's about the best you can get right there. In the bucket he goes. Noah's still in my spot. We're making a move. Let's try down here a little bit. This little pocket right here is probably going to be really good. Everyone playing with it. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Probably not good for bait, but he has a fun fight. Oh, is that a bass? Oh no, it's a bluegill. I hooked him in the, I don't know, I hooked him right there. I was about to say, dude, look at that one. That is a dang slab. Oh, oh. Chill out, chill out, dude, chill out. That is a daggum slab. There we go, what a beautiful fish. Oh, he got me wet. There's gotta be some smaller ones here. I mean, that one looks good. Come on now. Yeah, money, dude. He's a little bigger, he's like a medium size. See, this one ain't too small, or is it too big? It's just right in the middle. Perfect. Perfect, though. We only need probably a couple more and then we're good. Do, 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 do. Eat my worm. He's eating my worm. He's eating. I got him. That's a good one. I got him. Oh yeah, that's mine. Oh yeah, right there. Off to the other fishies. Head to a pool party, buddy. Here we go. All the fans. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. We got a lot of bluegill in there. Plenty. And so we're gonna go ahead and pack up and head out to the big fish pond. All right, boys and girls, it is time for the big fish to bite. We are out at a spot that we've never live bait fished before, but we're gonna see if we can hook some of these giants. We bass fish out here all the time, and there's just so many large fish that they have to eat a live bait. So we're gonna start here, and then we're gonna go to the swamp later on in the video, and I'm excited for the swamp, so you guys better stay tuned for that. What you feeling, A-Dub? I'm liking it. The pond looks good. It's semi-clear. Noah says there's some big ones in here, and I know that big bass and other big fish love to eat some big live bait and that's what we've got so i'm excited i think it could definitely happen here well let's go ahead and rig up and lock in guys i am so ready for these big fish to bite all right guys i got this cooler with a bunch of different bobbers in it we have some circle hooks but i'm gonna be honest with you i hate circle hooks whether i hook set whether i don't hook set and just reel into them i never catch fish on circle hooks so we're just gonna rock with a standard bobber and probably just put a regular worm hook on it and uh, we're rocking this on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. Rocking her on a bait caster. We also have a bunch of other spinning rods that we can use with us. But this is what I'm going to go ahead and rig up first. Hopping into the hook box. I'm probably going to just go up with a standard wide gap. It's pretty basic. I feel more comfortable with that than those circle hooks. I'm going to be real with y'all. If you guys have any, I mean, I'm not no live bait fishing connoisseur. If you guys have any tips or suggestions, definitely leave them down below. We're gonna tie this puppy on with a uni knot and then we're gonna put our bobber up about, I'd say 12 inches. It's time to pick out our bluegill of choice. Yeah, I'm liking that one. Yeah, that looks money. Money right there. We're gonna go ahead and give her a little cast out here. There's a little grass patch. Adam's fishing by this bridge. I'm just gonna cast mine right out here. Oh, there he goes to the depths. Oh, he's taking off, brother. All right, we're just gonna let him kind of run. Hopefully we'll get some bites here in a minute. Up, oh, one's got mine. No yep. Got yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. I knew it. Yes. Come on. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Here, be careful. Be careful. Nice. Yeah, it's a good like close to three pounder Adam. Yeah, your bluegill's gone. Did it his stomach? Heck yeah. No, it uh, came off. Like, you didn't even get a meal? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse them off for you. Good job. That's awesome. That's your first bluegill bass. There you go, girl. Some good light in there. Heck yeah. Nice. That's, That's a first. good three pound fish. Good job. <laughs> Heck yeah. That was exciting. My bobber disappeared. Hey, that was quick, man. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Thank you. And Tara got smoked. Your bluegill was going crazy for a minute there. He was probably hunting them down. 
Oh, got one. Yep. Oh, dude, good one. Oh my gosh. Is he a monster? I can't tell how good he is. He's a nice fish though. Oh yeah. I think it's I think it's a three or four. Get him oh yes, boy, sir. <laughs> nice fish. That's another three pounder, dude. Golly, dude, he's active too. Look at there. Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> right in the top of the mouth. Let's oh go. Oh my gosh. Bluegill eater. Dude, that is insane. Yes, sir, dude. I'm telling you guys, it usually don't happen that quick. I think we figured out how to catch him. I threw it on the bank, just like she did. She I was on the, on the bank, bank, and you were I was standing instantly. out with my bobber and just straight on. <laughs> Look at that. Good job, brother. Beautiful. All right. That's two bass back to back. Where's my bobber? Next thing you know, <laughs> I got one, boys. <laughs> We haven't even hit the swamp yet, boys, and we're catching some three pound bass on live bluegill. That, that is awesome. My guy doesn't have too much life in him. I'm gonna get a different one just so I have something that's moving around a little bit more. And uh, he seems fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's just really lethargic. If we gotta use him as cut bait later or just release him, then that's what we'll do. But all the really small ones are kind of gone. This one's a little bigger. So we're gonna go with a larger larger bluegill. This guy should have a lot of life in him though. Right there. That's money. We're gonna cast. Oh, there's a big boil, two big boils. Dude. Dang it, man. Oh, oh what's going on? Wait, he was trying to eat it. Oh, he did. That was crazy. Oh no. That was crazy. I didn't let him eat it long enough. Oh, that was crazy. What was I doing? She got eaten? Yeah, twice. Oh my gosh. There's a, Adam, there's a huge boil right here, dude. <sighs> Guys, they're eating, man. They're eating. I'm so pumped. This fish is stand, staying still. It's coming back for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's eating it. He's eating it. Oh, he's off. He's off. I should have let him run more. I'll bet you I can catch another one in the same spot. Oh, that's a little bit too close. Let's throw it back off a little bit. There we go, that should be perfect. Might have to move this one. He decided he wants to be a runner. He's running to the middle of the pond. Look at him. He's coming out of the water. He's running so hard. I'm gonna walk down this bank just a little bit. So two years ago, I caught like 20 something pounds of my best five along this bank and they'll bed on this thing really good with how these fish are starting to push up today should be a money zone there we go oh, he just got slammed i got him monster monster oh my gosh stay pin baby oh my gosh she's a giant yes <laughs> Look at that fish, dude. Look at that bass. Oh my gosh, that's close to a five pounder. And she freaking hammered it. Oh my goodness, beautiful fish. And they're gonna be up on this bank, guys. I had a feeling coming out here, this is what we're gonna be hunting for. And I finally got the bite and she slammed that bluegill, man. Oh my gosh, let's go. I'm gonna throw her back in the water, I don't wanna towed her back to Adam and Tara, but it's a good four and a half pounder right there, man. Let's go, I'm gonna throw her back. Oh, what a tank, man, let's go. I'm probably gonna go back to them guys and see if uh, they wanna work down this way because I think this bank is gonna be freaking loaded. I think we're about to move spots down here to where Noah just caught that one. He thinks it's gonna be really good. But before we do that, I'm gonna throw my bluegill back over here where Tara was getting a ton of bites until I wait for them to come back. Maybe I'll get lucky and get one over here. Uh-oh. My bluegill is starting to move. He has not been moving very much until this point, and now he's moving quite a bit. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. Something's getting him. Something's getting him right now. Come on, baby. Oh, no! That was a giant! No, no, no! I let him have it, too! I don't know what just happened. Oh my gosh. 
That was a giant. Tara's getting her on another one. Me and her are gonna walk back to where I just caught that five pounder. Adam's gonna keep fishing here because he just missed a giant. We're gonna walk down to the same corner. I think there's some more fish on that grass line, but I think this puppy's gonna get munched. There's so many over there down that grass. And I'm gonna tell you, I think there's some bigger than that one I just caught. Oh, there's a boil down this bank. Before we walk over there, I saw a big boil here. Oh my gosh, he's running, dude. He just got eaten. Oh, he didn't. He, this fish is just so, <laughs> dude, I swear. I should have felt for him. He was flying. He was definitely getting chased. I just messed up. Dang it, man. All right, guys, let's go back to where those bushes are, where we caught that five pounder. I think there's more. I bet there's more. <gasps> Oh. That was crazy. That was crazy. He yeah. ate it like directly on the giant. bank. Oh. That was great. I was reeling it in. He like ate it into the grass. Look at that fish. Oh, he's going crazy. That's a good one. Heck yeah. He's beautiful. Good job, girl. It's a good four pounder. Yeah, no, he's a tank. It's been a minute. All right, buddy. There he goes. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, Falling apart over here. I can't believe Tara just smoked that fish. We're gonna go back over to this corner though. There might be a monster over here. All right, boys. Here goes nothing. I just saw another boil walking up. I saw a boil on this right grass patch. But I'm gonna let this one just sit here for a second. Dude, he's got me stuck. No way he hasn't stuck. I got him. Not how I wanted that to happen. But well, we got him back. Well, with that happening, we're definitely going down the bank right here. <laughs> that sucks, man. That probably spooked off a couple of giants. I'm really hoping I can get that fish to bite again. I do have a much bigger bluegill on now. But hey, big baits equals big fish. And I really do think that, that fish could eat this bluegill no problem. All right, you guys, I'm making a little pit stop trying to get some bluegill so we can keep fishing for some bass. Yep, 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 yay! Open your mouth, open your mouth. I don't know if he's still going to be alive or not. Oh, he is, he's spicy. Little pit stop between our bass. And back on the... Of course. This one, this one, this one's going on my rod. This is, this is going on my rod. Oh! He's huge! He's huge! What? He's crazy! <laughs> oh my god! That blue girl is huge! Oh, he just got hammered. He just got hammered. Biggin'. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. He's pulling drag. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, that is a tank. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He barely hooks. Mm, look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. And he actually ate that bluegill all the way. It is all the way in the back of his throat. And that is a five pounder, man. I've only got two bites on them bluegill. Freaking five pounders, man. You can actually tell he got it right in the back of his mouth. Let's go, baby. That is insane. That was a sick eat. Thank you for biting. I just cannot believe how these fish are eating these things right now. It's amazing. There she goes. Wow. Two bites. And the first one was probably four and a half, but that was an easy five. Unbelievable. We just landed that five pounder. As much as I want to keep fishing out here, it's time to head to the swamp. Looks like Tara got a few more bluegill. We got a couple that have sadly passed away. We can use those as cut bait, but uh, let's go ahead and head out to the swamp and catch some of these swamp monsters. Guys, we just got out to the swamp pond. This is what we've been waiting on this whole episode. It's just been unreal. Between the shiners, then we were catching the bluegill, all the way to catching the giant bass on bluegill. And we're finally out here to this natural swamp pond. We're seeing a bunch of boils and I'm so excited. We're just gonna hop into it. We're gonna be using cut bait. We're gonna be using live bait. We're gonna be using live worms, anything that we want to catch fish on, we're going to do right here. So let's go ahead and hop into it 
and see if we can catch some of these monsters. I'm hooking up another live bait rig on the bobber just to see if there's a big old bass or something that wants to come up and eat this thing. We're gonna use a little bit of cut bait, but I think having some live bait out there is gonna be a good thing too. So while Adam's doing some live bait, Terry, you're doing live bait too, right? Adam and Terry are both doing live bait. I'm gonna go to cut bait and see if we can hook a bottom monster. Got a little fillet knife here, and uh, we're just gonna get little slices of these bluegill that sadly passed away. And uh, I'm gonna rig it up on, honestly, just an extra wide gap hook. I'm gonna keep it basic. And um, yeah, we'll keep it simple there. I'm gonna just get this dang body piece right here. Big old piece right there, son. Get a little bit of the juices. Adub's gonna put one out too. I'm gonna give you the juiciest too. Give me the head. Give you the head. Now I'm gonna try, so on the other side of the bank here, there's a, a lot of water that's getting naturally poured in from the swamp behind the pond. So I'm gonna try to cast this thing over there. We should get bit. It's what we've been waiting on all day. It's hard to beat that last pond there, guys. That was something else. Great fishing, the old live bluegill. We're gonna take this thing and we're gonna prop it up right here on my backpack. And now we have two rods out, so we have double the odds of catching a fish. Oh my. Dude, Adam. I got him, dude. Is that a mud? Yeah, he was running with it. Oh, dang. He's big too, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, one just tried to eat my line. One tried to eat you? It tried to eat my line. Oh my gosh, man. Dude, I wasn't paying attention. All of a sudden my line's going off like 10 foot to the right. Oh, look at that. That is a swamp monster, guys. Freaking mega. Oh my goodness. <laughs> guys we've caught some bass we've caught some really nice bluegill and we just caught this swamp monster of a mudfish oh my god what a nasty fish but that was a good fight man heck yeah we have caught it all today guys well, that is our first fish at the swamp hopefully uh, adam and tara are going to get some big old bass on those live bluegill but we're going to go after another big bottom feeder whether it's a catfish or another mud all right guys we got a good good old slice and if you're trying to fish for them catfish oh my god i almost went in <laughs> if you're trying to fish for those catfish or mudfish anything nasty like this has got a bunch of guts and just nasty stuff in it that's that's what those fish want i actually uh had my other piece back but i'm just like you know what might as well use a new piece here oh yeah that that piece got a little more weight on her all right, I'm going into the swamp. I actually caught a fish back here one time with just my bare hands. And I'm about to go see if I can drop my bait in this little waterfall. See if I can catch me a fish. He's going to get slapped. <laughs> get ready, boy. You better hold on. Oh, my. He came off. Dude, that was a big one, wasn't it? It wasn't that big. It was decent. Oh, dude. Oh. I, I know he came off. He smoked it though. I should have been more patient. I got me a fresh head on here. Nice and juicy. So maybe since this one is going to smell really good, I can get another one to bite it. Hopefully. Oh, dude. Instant. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no way. You still have your bait? Yeah, it's still good. Oh my gosh. I really thought I was gonna get bit by a catfish or a mudfish or something like that over here. As soon as I dropped this thing in, bam, a bass. I was wondering, my line looked like it was going up in that tree. I was like, that's kind of weird. It's because there was a fish on there. I got another one, I think. It looked like my line was moving there for a second. Oh, dude, I got another one oh, taking me in the tree. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he a bass? I don't know what it is. I'm stuck. I think he came off. He took me in that tree, and I just couldn't do anything. And now I'm standing on a tree in the middle of the whole pond. 